hey you guys back again with another video good morning good afternoon good evening good day how's everybody doing i hope y'all doing well welcome welcome to my new and returning subscribers if you haven't subscribed subscribe and give this video a thumbs up y'all i'm i'm back again of course you know i got these two drinks right here that i want to try and i decided to have breakfast with it also instead of just doing two separate videos tasting these trying these i'm going to combine these well i'm not going to combine them together but i'm just going to do a review on both of them while i have breakfast kill two birds with one stone i ain't got to do two separate videos just drinking this you know but i love strawberry banana i do see i don't like the actual banana but i'll i'll drink banana but I like I don't know it's something about the texture. <sighs> I don't know, but I'll 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 I like bananas. Don't get me wrong, but I like it in oat. I said oat bread. I like it in like banana bread, like a smoothie, something like that. To just actually bite into it, I actually a peeling you know peel a banana and you know and bite it. Mm -mm. I don't know. That's just that's recent because I used to always like to eat you know. You know, banana, a fresh banana. You know, so we gonna try this. So this is like a. I think this is. I don't know which one should I try first. I mean, I want to try them all, but you know, ooh, I'm hungry too. So this is a Greek yoga. I, I said it in the previous video. I want to try this. Like I said, my husband said he loves this one. He said he loves this one. Not me. I know I said that before in another video, but he said he likes it. Go figure. Who would have known? Who would have thought that he would like it with no sugar? For someone who loves sugar, he I'm surprised he liked that. Um, I ain't taste no henna um, peaches. That's my honest opinion, you know? And I'm going to give you my honest opinion about this. Shabani um, mix. It's Greek yogurt mixed berry. I think they have the yogurt like this. In the in the in the um bowl or something a container, but I I like I like my yogurt plain, you know, and I cook with it, so I don't actually eat a bowl of it, which I should. It's either a bowl of it or drink milk, you know. So yeah, this is my sausage, egg, and cheese, you know, on pancakes with. It's not a lot of cheese though. It's most you know just a little bit of cheese, you know, like cheddar cheese. Um, so I said, let me just have a, you know, breakfast, you know, so let's say grace and we going to get started. Amen. All right. Now for the food, <laughs> like Lip said, um, yeah. So it's, it's, it's egg whites and, um, Jimmy Dean sausages. So I don't know which one I want to try. I need to try before I eat anything. Um, we're going to try the Kabani. We're going to try the Kabani. I really want to try. Mmm. Smells good. Oh, I'm going to pour it into the cup. No, I can taste it out of this. Right off the bat. Right off the bat. Low-fat Greek yogurt. Mm-hmm. Mm. This is delicious. Mm-hmm. Hold on, y'all. I forgot to put the pillow behind me. So, we're going to see the price of this. I, this is when I went to the store the other day. Oh, wow, the egg whites was $8.79. When I go to West End Beef, it's $10. Okay, so the Cavani Zero Sugar, that's this. Four dollars and nineteen cents for this, and um, for this is um three dollars and twenty nine cents. But this is good though. I will actually buy this again. Mm hmm. This is actually good. I kid y'all not. 
being that I'm eating, I'm not going to just drink all of it. But um, I need to get my, you know. And this one right here is Greek yogurt berry mix. Um, low fat Greek yogurt. Um, low fat milk, water, cane sugar, blueberries, raspberry, blackberries. Um, okay. Ooh, got lemon juice in here. Okay. All right. And it got root fiber. What is a locust bean gum? Fruit juice concentrated for color. Lemon juice concentrate. Okay. That's good, though. I would actually buy that again. I don't want to drink out the whole bottle, you know? Even though it's for me, though. But, um, yeah. Here we go. Hmm. That's interesting. What is this? Live active probiotics? <coughs> I don't know. It said 1% juice, so... Strawberry banana flake. Oh, okay. It says flavors. And how much is this one? This one costs six dollars, five ninety nine. So the only one so far I like is this one. But I'll still use this. You know, you can always add this to smoothies too. It's different. I don't know. But I'm not tasting no banana and strawberry though. But this one right here, the first sip, amazing. All right, let's get into this breakfast sandwich that I couldn't wait to eat. Mmm. So, out of this, <laughs> out of this one, out of these two, and this one, I'll go back and buy more of these. These are expensive for no reason. $5.99, $4.19. Man. Mmm. And it's, it's, it's on four servings per container, one cup per person. And each cup is 125 milligrams of sodium. That's a lot. This one is 85 milligrams of soda for the bottle. That's a lot, too. And this one right here is 70. Mm hmm I don't know. But I thought this was like a liquid yogurt or something like this one. I thought it was. I thought this was like a yogurt drink like this one is. But the, the the texture of this one, I thought it would be in this one. But it's in this one. It's good. It's thick. I like that. You know, like yogurt. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, nasty, greasy, low down, dirty um, breakfast. <laughs> mm-hmm. 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 I said I'm gonna eat. Why? Let me just drink these, try, taste these. Mm-hmm. It's one it's one percent milk fat. Low fat milk. Non fat. Oh, it's non fat. Mm. It's non fat. This one is low fat. Low fat. This is non fat. Okay. There you have it. Mm hmm I don't know how to explain that. I don't know. I mean, the texture is there that like you don't taste the fat. That's what it is. Can I mix these together? I don't know. Mixed berries with strawberry banana. 
Now, I don't want to waste this. This is good by itself. We're going to pour it in. We're going to see how. We're going to see what it do, what it do. I only put a little. I only put a little bit in here. Let me see. Mmm. Okay. That worked. Mmm. So I'm having raspberries, blueberries, um, blackberries, and strawberry banana. Good. But I like to make my own though. Get some fresh strawberries, some fresh bananas. Make sure they're frozen. Throw, throw them in a blender. Add maybe this too. Mmm. Oh, why am I drinking so much? Mmm. 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 Thumbs up. Mm-hmm. Of course, I got my water here. Happy love say, I got my I got my water bottle here. If you want free shipping, all you gotta do is say water bag. <laughs> hey, just like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. I got the coldest water bottle. And if you want free shipping or 10% off, all you gotta do is say water break. Water, 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 water break. Hey, that's what B Love say. <laughs> Every time I see my water bottle, I think of that. <laughs> I think I was saying that. Well, not all the time, but when I looked at it just now, I did. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is so good. I should be watching The Flash while eating this. Yeah. So, I'm like, what, 10 years behind? I remember trying to count how old I'll be when the clock when the clock strikes twelve on the years. Okay, um, ten years ago, the Flash did a like a TV series like 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 Smallville. They had like episode series and stuff. So I just realized that the Flash movie came out twenty twenty three. Last year, and um, I just now noticed that like five days before the new year came in, I saw that movie. I was like, Oh, I love, I love this movie, and I love that movie because they showed Nicolas Cage as Superman. So I guess they said they w it was going to be a movie about with Nicolas Cage as Superman, but that movie got scrapped. Um, it was going to be Superman Lives. So, I don't know if that was going to be before. I don't know if that was going to be after Superman Returns or the one after um, um, Superman vs. Batman or Batman vs. Superman. I don't know. I don't know if that movie was going to be the next Superman movie after Batman vs. Superman, but they that movie was scrapped. So, I was like, when did Nicolas Cage become Superman? So, I looked it up, of course, and... Um, they said he was going to be the Superman, but it didn't go through. I don't know what happened, I, you know, but, and then they show Nicholas, not Nicholas, they show Christopher Reeves and, um, the woman who played Supergirl back in the day. I was like, that was so cute. How they, you know, show homage to them, you know, I like that. And I like how, like. Superman, you know, Christopher Reeve, you know, Superman came down and then she came down right next to him. And then they was looking, I think, as the world was colliding. And then, you know, and then they looked at each other. I love that. That that got me right here. I was like, that was a surprise for me. How they did that. And I know, and then they showed, and I, I believe that was AI, though. Because, you know. They both not here no more. They passed. And I, yeah, I believe that was AI. They did. They added some AI technology into that. And I thought that was amazing. 
You know, I thought that was amazing how they just brought them back in. And, and I saw the old Batman, too. Oh, and also, Michael Keaton was in the, uh, the, um, the Flash movie. That's my favorite Batman. Nick, did I say Nicolas Cage? I meant Michael Keaton. That's my favorite super, um, Batman. Michael Keaton is my favorite Batman, and, and Christopher Reeves is my favorite Superman. And they show, and I was like, what? They had the old Batman? That's my favorite. That's my favorite. And then, and then whenever he was in, like, they showed him when he was in the Bat, you know, Batmobile. Not the, yeah, the Batmobile and the Bat, you know, Jack were playing. They played the old Super, the old Batman music. That was respect, though. That was respect. They showed the old Superman. They showed the old Batman. I love that. And they got the original, the first Batman. I think from 1960s or something. That was amazing. Or 1950s. That was amazing. I like that. Much respect to the creators of The Flash. I like that. Oh! And another thing I wanted to say, you know how people be like, I wish I can go back and change something, and they would say what they'll change. But look, I learned this from the Flash movie and the Flash series. Like, if you go back and change one thing, you're going to mess up the chain of, you know, what they call it, the chain reaction. Because, like, you know, when things happen... Something happens after that. And if you change that one thing, you're going to change the past. You're going to change the, you know, the present, you know, in the future. So, like, for me, if I would have went, like, if I would have went, um, like, if I didn't ask or went and got my, um, or better yet, if I would have, um, got my CNA license renewed. I wouldn't have met certain people doing home health aid. You know, if I didn't get my CNA, if I would have got my CNA license re renewed, I would have been working in the, the nursing home or the hospitals. And I would have never met the people I met when I did home health aid. You know what I'm saying? Or if I would have, you know, like graduated with my class in, 20, in 2000, I would have never met my husband in 2003 when I went to go get my GED. Yes. So, and then we wouldn't have gotten married. Like, if I would have graduated with my class in 20, in 2000, I would have never met my husband. Because I wouldn't have had to go to school to get, you know? And then I would've, we wouldn't have gotten married. So, like, if I would have been like, I want to change me graduating with my class in 2000. I would have never met my husband in 2003. And we wouldn't have had gotten married in 2008. And I wouldn't have gave birth to my son in 2010. You see how that worked? If I would have went back in time. If I was able to go back in time to change me graduating with my class. There would have been no need for me to go to school in, in 2003. To get, meet my husband. Or go get my you know diploma. And I wouldn't have met him. And then my son, and we wouldn't have been married. My son wouldn't be here today. You see how that works? Like, if you go back and change one thing, you will miss certain things that, you know, happens after that along the line. So, I wouldn't have met, if I didn't, if I didn't, you know, um, you know, do home health, I wouldn't have met this beautiful soul, like this beautiful person. You know, who's no longer here, you know. Um, but I wouldn't have met her. You see how things work? Like, if you change the past, you would affect the future. You know? Something like that. And everything happens for a reason. So, Flash was trying to go back in time to save his mom. But then that also cause other things to happen. Like, if he went back in time to save his mom, then his dad wouldn't have been to, went to jail. Then he wouldn't have um, met Joe and Iris. You know? His life can be different. 
if he would have went back in time. Everything would have been different, you know? So, sometimes changing the past is not a good, a bad, a good thing because imagine if you could change the past, like go back and change the past. Everything that you worked up to now wouldn't matter because you wouldn't even know, you know? So, things happen for a reason. Things happen in our life for a reason. We do one thing, it causes uh, cause an effect, you know? Or, you know? So, like, if I did graduate with my class in 2000, my son wouldn't be here today. I wouldn't have met my husband, you know? And I wouldn't have met Paulette if I didn't, if I would have renewed and plus other people too. But if, if I would have got my CNA certificate renewed, but I worked hard for that too. So um, I would have been working in a nursing home and I wouldn't have met her because I, I met her taking care of her in her home. And it's like, I met a lot of people, you know, and I learned different things from them, you know, which is a good thing, you know. So, you know, sometimes things happen for a reason. Like, you meet somebody, but if you would have did something else, you wouldn't have met that person. Like, your path, our path would have never crossed. And the amazing thing is that I asked my sister, you know, um... Can she help me find GED schools? And it was schools, and then it was that class, that school, and then it was other schools. And I chose that one right there. And if I would, what if I would have chose the one above that one or the one below that one? I would have, I would have not have met him. I chose that one because um, I I was familiar with that place. I always seen that school every, I mean that building every Sunday. So I already knew the area. You know, when my mom and I went to church, the church was like right across the street from it. So I was like, I know this place, okay. Everything happens for a reason, y'all. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. God is good. If I would have, like I would have graduated from, you know, I would have never met her. Imagine if I would have, Went to that other school. I mean, I probably would have, you know, mess. I don't know, but it's amazing how changing one thing in your past can affect your future. Like, if you go back, I'm glad going back is not a thing. I mean, you know, because you alter your future when you go back and change one thing, it changes everything. In the present, in the future, in the fo moving forward. So, you know, if I can go back, and even if I said going back to, to, to renew my c certificate, my CNA license or certificate, which I did work hard for, I got it through my high school, though. But, I mean, I may not have graduated from that high school, but I got something out of it. I had, uh, uh, I had a CNA certificate. I can work anywhere. But, well, not anywhere, because, you know. But, anywho, that's no hell there. But, yeah. So, changing your past can affect your future. If you can go back in the time machine. You know how the people, I wish I could go back to the 90s. Okay, but you won't have your, 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 your husband. You won't have your children. You know? Even if just to go back for a second. That may alter your future. I learned a lot from Flash, y'all. Excuse me, you know, and the thing about this is that the flash the um the movie the t the t v show I learned from both of them, the movie and the t v show, but the thing about the movie is that flash kept going back and back each time to save Supergirl and Batman, ooh, I can be doing ooh spoiler alert for those who didn't watch it, my bad, but Every time he went back, they still died, just differently. So, it was like he was, it was destined, like, they was going to go anywhere. But he just changed the way they died. But they still died. And he kept going back and back and back and back. And 
So it made no sense. I think he went back like three times. And each time Batman and Supergirl died. <sighs> Crazy. It's like it wasn't enough. You know? The people that went back and saved his mind. You know, she'll still be there. And you know what I noticed about superheroes? Why do parents always got to go? <clears throat> Superman's parents on um, Krypton and on Earth. Well, not, not, not Martha. But Martha, Batman and Martha both have the same mother. Their mother is the same name. Martha Kent, Martha um, Wayne. Mm-mm. Listen, I love Batman. I love Superman. DC Comics and Marvel, I do love both of them. But if I had to choose, I have to go with Batman and Su Superman and Batman. And Fla Listen, don't come for me, y'all. Because I said I, I go with DC Comics. But I love Marvel, too. But I love Superman and Batman, you know? Did I say I have a favorite... I do have a favorite character for Marvel. I can't think of any right now, but Batman and Superman. I grew up with DC Comics. I grew up with them. Batman, Superman movie. Come on. I get excited just hearing the theme song from Superman. Mm, it's right in my head right now. It's like it's like I get goosebumps. Christopher Reeves, my favorite Superman, still is to this day. You know. Um, Michael Keaton is my favorite Batman. I don't care for Ben Affleck. You can come for me, but I'm giving y'all my honest opinion. I don't I don't care too much for Ben Affleck. And it showed George Clooney too. <laughs> and then and then um Barry was like, Who the freak is this? <laughs> he altered the past, so he altered the past, so he changed the future. So it could have been Ben Affleck walking up to him. But instead, it was George Clooney because he changed one thing in the past. So you changed the Batman in the future. Sorry, y'all. If I spoil alert, sorry. I'm gonna probably put that in the top in the comment in the um title. But yeah, y'all, I enjoy this conversation, and this is something I wanted to say for a while, but I couldn't think of it at the time. But if you change your past, if you could change your past, just realize, just notice, you can alter your future, change your future. Like, who you know now, you won't know if you go back and change time. Like, besides family. Like, I mean, people you meet at work, school, all that work you put in, you won't go back? Like, I wouldn't even go back to change my, to get that. Like, if I was able to change one thing, that's one thing I would have changed. But then I saw the movie Flash, and I saw the series Flash. I'm up to season two, by the way. But by the time y'all see this, I'll probably be finished. But, Yeah. If I can, I, I don't think I want to change the past no more. But what I learned and what I went through when I did get my CNA, and it was free for me, too. I, mean, I don't know. And I learned a lot working in a nursing home, too. Like, But the thing that scared me is that I had to clean a deceased body. Like, what they call that, postpartum? Postpartum. Yeah. I cleaned a person up. And the thing is that you shouldn't be scared of the dead. You should be more scared of the lie because the lie can do harm to you. The living can do harm to you, not the um the dead. But growing up seeing the living dead, I mm 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 mm. You look. I grew up watching horror movies, so it's like in those movies, the harm do harm you. I mean, the harm do harm you. The dead do harm you. So it's like, when, like if I never seen a horror movie in my life, maybe I wouldn't be scared of the, you know, a dead, you know, seeing a dead body or some deceased body. But since them horror movies mess it up for me, the Living Dead, Night of the Living Dead, I don't watch those movies to, anyway. You know, zombies, you know, someone being uh, and jump up and get you. Them horror movies mess it up for me, like. I know people say they feel more safe around the dead because they can't talk back to them. They can't hurt them or harm them or say nothing to them. But I was scared that day, like, to, to, to do, to clean that body. I was scared. Like, I had that smell of death in my nose for weeks. 
I'm telling you, I've smelled a body that pers that, that expired. I, and it's not a good scent. And then the thing, and then the and then the deceased passed gas. Ooh, I was ready to fly with the. I was about to be going with the wind fabulous in the word of Darius. I was about to be going with the wind fabulous. Hey, what? I was like, I should have called in that day. Like CNA, being a certified nurse's assistant, you learn a lot of things. I've learned a lot of things. I've learned a lot of things from the LPN, the licensed practical nurses. I've learned a lot from them over the years when I was working. I learned a lot. I did. And I was always on my toes. I was always, you know, I'm glad I didn't have a phone back then because phones would be a distraction, you know. But, yeah, I learned a lot of things. And I still remember those things to this day. It's like they teach you stuff in school, but you really learn more when you're on the fields. Like, they, they give you the basics. They give you the basic of, of, of postpartum, you know, cleaning somebody after they pass. They teach you that, but you really learn it when you actually on the field, moving a heavy body, dead weight. Them dummies that they have in the bed is light. Well, some of them is heavy, but learning how to do an occupied bed is easy when you in school with a you know a dummy in the bed. When you got a two hundred pound plus patient, you got to and they can't move themselves. But um, yeah. I've talked a lot about, I had a lot of things to say. Because, you know, I don't be, like, it just all came to me. Like, my mind was just flooding with them. But, yeah, so my mom said, you shouldn't be scared of the dead. You should be more afraid of the living because the living can do harm to you. Why you let me watch horror movies <laughs> growing up? And back then, Halloween, they used to play all the horror movies. And everybody would be in the living room watching the movies. You don't want to be in the room by yourself. Jason, Michael Myers, Freddy Krueger, come breaking in your window. You don't want to be by. That's why I watched those movies back in the day because I didn't want to be by myself. It's better to be with a whole bunch of people than to be by yourself. So I was in the front in the living room watching the movies with my family because I didn't want to be in the room by myself. Like I didn't have to. But I didn't, you know, I could, I had a choice. I didn't have to sit there and watch Chucky, Child's Play, Michael Myers, Jason. I I, I had a choice. But I just didn't want to be in the back by myself. Because, you know, they get you when you're alone. <laughs> but you couldn't pay me today to watch no horror movie. Mm -mm, you ain't getting me to watch Freddy. You ain't getting me to watch no, um... Um, Jason, um, Freddy Krueger, you know, Halloween. I just had a flashback, y'all. But I gotta let y'all go. I just thought of the Halloween intro. I don't like that. I love instrumental. Not that, in, not that instrumental. But anyway, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video if you care. Hit that notification bell to be notified. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Look at me. I'm still holding my sandwich. And look, <laughs> I was talking to y'all. So that is true when, when B-Love say when she get to talking, you know, she um can't eat. But anyway, God bless you all. Love, peace, and hair grease. I love y'all. God bless y'all. Stay safe. Um, And I love y'all. And ain't nothing y'all can do with, about it. Okay? Okay. Peace. Love y'all.